hi everyone this is hello angel or design today i'm going to show you how to make a sleeveless dress with a button on the front of the dress it's very beautiful it's an easy dress and i will take you step by step on how you can achieve this it's a gather skirt at the back it has a button loop at the back of the dress this is how it is for the button it's optional you don't have to but if you want to it's really beautiful when you put a button on the front of this dress your child can put this on every day it's a basic everyday simple dress don't forget to subscribe if you haven't make a comment down below if you have any questions if my tutorial has been helpful thumbs up and let's get started <music> thing that we have to do we are going to pin our pattern paper on our fabric i have pinned mine so i will add one centimeter seam allowance all around once i am done that and then i will go ahead and cut it out i pin my front pattern paper on my fabric on fold my back pattern paper and i also pin it on fold we are going to attach a button loop at the center back this is how i'm going to cut my fabric and this is my bias binding that i've already cut i'm going to use it to bind the neckline and the armhole if you don't know how to cut bias binding cut a four corner fabric and you place it as a diagonal like this you just go ahead and start cutting them out so the width of my bias binding is one inch i'll just go ahead and cut out my top dress and i also cut my skirt so i have cut them out this is the front and this is the back and the length of my skirt is 15 inch the width what you're going to do you take the total measurement of the back waistline the total measurement of the front waistline add them together the measurement that you get times it by two and then you cut your skirt width you can even add few inches to that so that you have more volume for the skirt and i cut one and a half inch i fold it into two i just cut one and a half inch so i'm going to stitch it on the front top and just place a button as a design on the front top so that is why i'm cut this i've already showed how you can cut your bias binding so these are my fabric that i'm going to use and this is my button that i'm going to use i have yellow and pink button i'll make a decision between the yellow and the pink button later so let's start put the dress together first thing that we have to do before we put the both shoulder seam of the top together use your hand to make a crease on the top this is the back of my top dress and then you open it like this you have a crease what you're going to do take your measuring tape or your ruler so i'm going to take a measurement of three inch so what you're going to do you take your scissors cut it be before you get to the three inch and then you turn your scissors cut it as a diagonal and then you turn your scissors cut it as a diagonal so this is how you should cut your the back of your toe you can see this point right here the next thing that you have to do once you have cut the center back take your front top place it on top of the back make sure both front fabric are facing each other go ahead and stitch the both shoulder seam with one centimeter seam allowance once you have done that you can either zigzag it with your zigzag stitches or take it to your overlocker overlock the raw edges i have stitched the shoulder seam together i take it to my overlock i just overlock the raw edges the next thing that we have to do we are going to use our bias binding to bind the armhole so what you're going to do place your bias binding at the front of your dress not at the back at the front of your dress go ahead and pin around the both armhole once you have done that 
go ahead and top stitch i have stitched the both arm hole this is how it is the next thing that we have to do we are going to place a piece of fabric in between the front dress you fold it into two like this you cut one and a half inch make sure to fold it into two before you measure it fold it into two the width is one and a half inch the length will be the same length of your front top take it to your sewing machine just stop stitch once you have done that turn it inside out make sure that the seam is in between the fabric you can see my seam is in between the fabric so what you're going to do put your front top together take your hand to make a crease or you can take it to an any board and give it a good press once you have done that then place it at the mid part of your top like this you're just going to pin it in place so once you have done that take it to your sewing machine give it a top stitch all the way down come to the other side give it a top stitch all the way down so go ahead and stitch it in place after you have done that then we can now stitch our neckline in the center back i have stitched it in place this is how it is so what you're going to do you just place your button to design the front of the dress so you see the beauty of this dress once you place your button on the dress so this is how the front will look the next thing that we have to do we are going to bind the neckline in the center bar so what you're going to do remember to put your button loop at the center back when you're binding the center back so just go ahead place your bias binding around the neckline like this go ahead and stitch it all around the front of the neckline once you have done stitching then fold it and then fold it again and give it a top stitch all over again i believe a lot of you know how to bind the neckline of your dress so go ahead and stitch around the neckline then we cannot stitch the center back together I have stitched around the neckline the next thing that you have to do you're going to stitch the center back of your top dress what you're going to do place your bias binding like this make sure it's a little bit out so that you can fold it to cover the raw edges once you have done stitching place your bias binding like this just go ahead and pin around the center back all around I have pinned it all around this is how it is the next thing that you have to do take it to your sewing machine the raw edges fold it inside like this you just fold it inside and top stitch it all around when you come down to this other side also fold it inside top stitch it all the way to the end once you have done that then turn it over and then turn it again to cover the raw edges just go ahead and stitch that in place I have stitched the center back and you can see my button loop right there the next thing that you have to do is to put the both sides seam together and you just pin the both sides seam of your top together I have pinned both sides seam together the next thing that you have to do take it to your sewing machine stitch it with one centimeter seam allowance once you have done that also go ahead and stitch your skirt together put the both front together go ahead and get it a top stitch all the way down you can either pin it in place or take it to your sewing machine stitch it with one centimeter seam allowance so once you have done stitching go ahead and set your sewing machine to the longest stitch and 
stitch it all the way around once you have done that we cannot gather the skirt on the top dress I have stitched the side seam of my top together and I've also stitched on this other side I take it to my overlock I just overlock the raw edges and for my skirt I set my sewing machine to the longest stitch I have stitched around the top edge of my skirt and I also take it to my overlock I just overlock the center back you can see that so what you're going to do, put them together so that you know the mid part of your skirt. You just put them together like this. So this is how to know the mid part of your skirt. If you're going to place a pin, place a pin right there. You can see I have done that already. And you also do the same thing with your top dress that you're making. Put them together like this. And this is the mid part. This will be the center back. This is the front dress so what you're going to do i'm going to put the front dress inside the front skirt this is the back of my skirt make sure both front are facing each other put the bone mid part together like this and then you pin that in place and then for the center back this will be your center back. Take your top dress, put them together, pin that in place. So what you're going to do, you're going to gather your skirt. You just go ahead and start pulling your skirt all around. I have pinned around my skirt and I've also gathered it all around. The next thing that you have to do, take it to your sewing machine, give it a top stitch with one centimeter seam allowance or half an inch. Depends on the seam allowance that you add on your fabric when you be cutting it out. You use the same seam allowance to stitch your dress. So go ahead and top stitch around the waistline. Once you have done that, Take it to your overlocker, overlock the raw edges, or use zigzag to overlock the raw edges. I have stitched my skirt together. This is how it is. I take it to my overlock, I just overlock all the raw edges. The next thing that you have to do, take your dress to your sewing machine, fold inside half an inch and then fold it again and give it a top stitch. Or you can either fold inside one centimeter and fold it again and give it a top stitch all around. Once you have done that, the seam right here, you push it towards the bodies. You push it towards the bodies you just go ahead and give it a top stitch around the waist line once you have done that your dress is finally ready you can see that i also stitch my button go ahead and stitch your button on your dress 